About two weeks ago, five people died in Kootenai County from suspected fentanyl-related overdoses. Since my last report, an additional two more people have overdosed. Today, I'm at the sheriff's office to see what this tiny killer really looks like. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office says fentanyl is continuously popping up all over the county. It's so powerful that just two grains of this extremely potent and very deadly drug can be enough to kill someone. We've got well over 100 uh, pills here. Each one of those is a ticking time bomb. Sheriff's Office Sergeant and Drug Trafficking Unit member John Brandle says the scariest part about illicit fentanyl is that there is no quality control. That means within the same batch of pills, one could have no amount of the drug, but another could have a deadly dose. And it's nearly impossible to tell which drugs are real and which are counterfeit. Maybe these ones? These ones look the most legitimate. Okay. Out of all of them, those are actually the least legitimate as far as the color of the actual pill. But in all, in actuality, all of these are counterfeit pills that contain fentanyl. Brandel says fentanyl comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Not all fentanyl-related products look like little circular pills. Even somebody who is knowingly taking heroin, this heroin is cut with fentanyl. He says drug dealers and traffickers often cut different drugs with fentanyl because the synthetic opioid is incredibly cheap and anybody can make it. Sometimes, he says, people try to buy another drug and get hooked on fentanyl without realizing. For Brandel, the fight has quickly become exhausting. He says he's tired of the community avoiding this conversation. He's tired of people pretending nothing's wrong. And he's tired of the common excuse that it's just a few bad people selling and doing drugs. You have kids in school, you have soccer moms, you have medical professionals, you have people that they, they get hooked on it because they had a legitimate medical need for it, they were prescribed it, and then for whatever reason, it kind of spiraled out of control. He says there's no easy solution. The opioid epidemic can't be solved by law enforcement alone. The solution needs to come from the broader community, because right now, the problem isn't getting better, but worse. Sergeant Brandel said there's already different strains of fentanyl that are much more potent hitting the streets right now. So addressing this problem is essential to keeping people alive. Reporting from Coeur d'Alene, Morgan Trow, Prem2 News.